Greetings, wizards and witches, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. And you thinking, guys, what the heck happened to you? Well, believe it or not, guys, the my autosave file got corrupted, so I had to go start over from the the last time I physically saved. And doing so, I unlocked more than what I intended. Like, for instance, I unlocked this armor, which is actually well, the helmet, which is actually part of the spider killing set. And I, of course, I also found a hidden guide page in the the chemistry class which is actually at the the teacher's desk so yeah that's it let's continue all right investigate whoop oh is that Azkaban oh don't tell me to send me back there again all right let's go through uh well no seeing Azkaban but it's definitely Rebecca. something hmm where am I uh, the Chamber of oh, Secrets. No. The room's starting to flood. Oh. Uh oh. Uh. I... Oh, wait. That's How not... am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? Uh, very interesting magic. I, w I want to say, very interesting. Huh. I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. Well, let's hope. But maybe, maybe it's one of those things where I basically have to, uh, you know, dodge certain attacks. Oh, what or is not. This place? Well, uh, ooh, this is one big mirror. Rebellion. Anything hidden around here? No. Hmm. Oh. Uh, hello? Anyone here? Oh. It sounds like someone's gonna pop out any minutes. Like maybe a giant knight? Or. Wait, are those murals? Huh. Can it be? Oh, that's cool. Talk to Portrait. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Okay, uh, why is this called the map chamber? I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. Uh, are you a seer? The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Okay, uh, I'll bring the book here. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Okay. Hmm. Your connection to magic has unlocked traits. Traits plus one. You will receive a trait a trait point each time you increase your wizarding level. You have new trait points to, to spend in your talents menu in your field guide. Okay. About time I got this. Okay. You've earned a tra Ooh, I've got 11. You've earned trait trait points. Starting at level five, you... you you may spend these talent points as you wish to enhance your spells, to increase your combat strengths, your combat strengths, stealth, and more. Choose wisely. Talent points may only be spent once. 
as the number of talents you acquire will be limited. Okay. Uh, what's this? Core. Hmm. Oh, I've got to get ready for this. Okay, so this basically tells me I found it as a Hufflepuff. Okay, uh, core. These talents improve your overall effectiveness. Let's take a look at these. Okay, what we got first? Hmm, what's this one? Uh, ancient magic throw experience. Ancient, let's see, ma spell knowledge. Add a new spell set to be added. Hold RT and tap the directional button to swap to an unlock spell set. Uh, Wigan Well Potency. Wig Wigan Well heals you to a greater effect. Yeah, I'm getting this because that is obviously useful. What's this one? Spell. Okay. Uh, Swift. Oh, yeah, I'm getting that. Holding down the dodge will allow you to vanish quickly and reappear nearby. Definitely getting that. What else we got? We got level. See, Protego Absorption. So actually, successful Protego blocks will contribute to ancient, ancient magic meter. Perfect Protego blocks con contribute more. Yeah, I get that as well. And what's this? Casting basic mass, basic mass, cast mastery. Basic cast impacts spell reduce cooldown. Okay, let's get that as well. And, hmm, I don't know if I want to do this. A new spell set is added. Hmm, you know what? Let's just get these, because you never know, they might come in handy, but I'm not sure about this one. The, like the, I don't really get the Ancient Magic Throw that often. So let's see, let's see spells. What we got? We got Incendio. Casting Incendio unleashes a ring of flames around you. Enemies near near a target summoned by your Accio are also pulled. Let's get that. And let's do the... Levioso mastery, so basically all enemies, and I don't I don't want to do any of the dark arts because I want to stay a good character in, in this game. So for now, let's see, can I do anything with the whole of attainment? See, this is okay. Let's just get both of these, and I have one more talent left. So maybe I should get some. Let's see, what should I get? I mean, I could. Uh, you know what? Let's go to spells and let's do it. My incendio increase. There, I spent spent them all, but that I say that's worth it. Okay. Uh, okay. So I gotta exit out. Oh, up there. Okay. Oh, oh, that was just my laptop. Let me know that I got the achievement. What's this? Oh, a ta a talent of spend. Spend five talent point talent points. Okay. Let's see where this sends me. Hopefully it sends me somewhere near Hogwarts, or it could send me somewhere else. I'm going to find out. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Qu questions for later, my friend. Questions for later. Also, if any of you guys are watching me on Wattpad, you should know I've been, I've been working on a story called Shonen Jumper, which is a Ruby slash Shonen Jump gamer story. And if any of you guys are into that sort of thing, I recommend you watch it. Well, read it, because I'm actually currently doing the first part of the Ruby ser well, the first part of Jojo, you know, the, the, uh, uh, what's it called? Oh yeah, Phantom Blood. Okay. Now then, what's in here, my friend? Uh, first things first, before I do that, let me just check my gear, because I know I, yeah, I still, ha I still have space, but maybe I should, you know, like, Get rid of one of these, just in case. Alright. Now, what's in the chest? Gimme. Oh, 500 gold. Okay. At least now I've finally get the chance to actually improve my skills. Okay, it's, I guess it's not going to show it's my dodging ability until I get to, you know, where I need to go next. Okay, uh, hmm. Huh? What's this? Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Uh, I guess there's something important. Alright, so let's see what I can do. Uh, I'm wait. Back at Hogwarts. He seems to be off. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. 
Oh, rugged dueling gauntlets. And look better than the ones I've got. Nice. Alright, let's take a look at these rugged dueling gauntlets I just got. Oop, uh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's see what they got. They are better and they're extraordinary, which... How does this work exactly, like, the whole concept, like... Is Extraordinary better than Legendary? Because that doesn't make sense. Like, you'd think Legendary would be the best type of items. Uh, okay, I don't have anything else. Ooh. Oh, cool. I got Professor, Professor Sharp quest. That sounds fun on the burn. Well, I suppose I could do it later. Well, actually, I'll do it now. Because I think that's the only test I can really do right now. Uh, okay. Well, I can't really do anything about this. Let's take a look to see what he wants me to do. Let's see. Flying class, Professor Sharp's assignment. Okay. Hmm. Acquire and use a focus potion. A acquire Maxima and Endurance potion and then use them simultaneously. Huh? Okay, but... You know what? I'll do that after I've done flying lessons. Let's go to that. Okay, let's see. Locate our map. Uh... Huh. Huh, it's the far. Okay, let's, uh... Let's, uh, go here and travel. Because I just... I'll just do the, um, the flying quest and then I'll, uh, do the... The, sp the thing that Professor Sharp wants us to do. Oh, here we go. Okay, gotta wait. Ah, here we go. Oh, another one. Oh, that was for Helen Thistle. Why didn't it play? Let me take a look. Uh, where where is she? Ah, here we go. Happy to report that my sister Helen vis survived the sudden attack in Azkaban. She said that she does not hold a grudge against Anne. As terrible as, that, as the violent was, after seeing the conditions in Azkaban now, Helen said it's no wonder Anne's mind is so far gone. It seems you found Jack Dawes' ghost and told him about Anne. Helen wanted you to know that he has evidently promised to work with the Ministry and Helen to see what, if anything, can be done for her. Oh, that's good. Okay, so I uh, guess it's time to do this then. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Okay. I'm, I'm a flying knight, huh? Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? <laughs> now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you <sighs> stupid ratty school broom! Okay. Uh, oh. up. Nice! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. <laughs> and if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay. 
Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. <laughs> Do this will take, take some care. getting used to. The brooms are school I wish property. I had my own broom. I want them returned in one piece. Okay, no pressure. Okay, that was fun. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Okay. Time trial, isn't it? Uh. Oh. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Okay. What a view! <laughs> Hello. Nice day for a flight. Yeah, it is. <sighs> that wasn't too bad. Ah, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Yeah, well, I hope they make a new game after this, because I actually watched the Angry Joe review, and he said this game earned a, a 10 out of 10. Well, he did say there was a lot of things wrong with the game. Oh, oh, whew, whew. He did say it was a brilliant game, and I do agree. Uh-oh. As long as he doesn't try and grab me, I think we'll be. I think me and him will get along fine. After all, I do like some calamari. Although maybe I'll make him out of, into calamari anyway. Whoop! <laughs> this is rather fun. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that was good. That was fun. <laughs> I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Uh-oh. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high-flying fun? Hmm. Sounds intriguing. I like the sounds of that. <laughs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Okay. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Oh, whoa. Uh, oh. Uh, little warning next time, man. Whoa. All, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Uh, dude, slow down. Of the, gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit yeah. claustrophobic for my taste. Yeah. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's yeah. something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Uh. <laughs> now that's more like it. Okay, that's... You sure you're not part hippogriff? No, that would be cool. Oh, ho -ho. the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. Yeah, it doesn't look so. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Yeah. Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Yeah, it is. That's a big owl. Oh. Oh! That's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. Yeah. Do, uh, do, do you want me to give you a, a tip for this? Because that was impressive. Yeah. Oh. Dismount here. Whew. All right. That was fun. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still... Because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom, the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. Ooh. As for you... 
You do well to use better judgment in the future. Yes, Professor. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Thank you. Think your mind up. Are you angry with me or are you proud of me? Ugh, some woman. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. I have no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Well, too bad you can't get a Nimbus 2000. Alright. Okay. Well, one of my challenges was complete. So, uh, yeah. First things first. Is there nothing else around here? Oh, I can talk to these people, but I'm not interested. Uh, hmm. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Yeah. Uh, I'm alright for right now, Simon, but... Sebastian, I mean. But I, pre I appreciate it. But for now, I think I'm gonna go get buy myself a brew. And... What the... Oh, that's the secret rooms. Okay. Okay, so, uh... There it is. So... Set waypoints and travel. Gonna go there, get a broom, and then we're gonna go do that thing with Professor. So apparently I'm supposed to use two items simultaneously. How do I do that? Do I, like, mix them together, I guess? I mean, I'll probably have to make them. Oh. I guess that means a whole attainment. Here I come. First thing first. Hello. New face. Wonderful. Ah, hello. Oh, you definitely look like a average uh, Quidditch watcher and player. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Ooh. Uh. Disrupt train routes. Disrupt. Disrupt. Yeah. Disrupt the train trade routes. M made you close. What else can you share about the brooms? You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Okay, uh, what's this? What else can you share about brooms? Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps. Well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the Yew one's darker reputation. Then you have the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Okay, let's see what you have. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. Alright, let's see what we got. What are we looking for today? Hmm. Oh, that's actually not a bad in price. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Let's let's check the preview of this. Item is of the highest quality. Oh, Hogwarts house broom. What's this one? Oh, that one looks quite nice. Finally crafted from ash. This broom is built for st. Okay. Uh, wind wisp. That item is of the highest quality. And uh. Hmm. Well, I like the look at this. Well, let me take a look at this one here. Oh, 
I've seen this one all the time. This is the one that basically is on fire. I promise you. Okay, first things first. Let me just uh, sell some things. Huh? An identified head item? What? These are all stuff I can sell. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay, uh... Let's just uh, sell some items we don't need. Okay. Thank you. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go enhancements? Ha! <laughs> Knew I was right about you! I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Uh, sounds like a, sounds like worth a try, Mr. Weeks. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special prize. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Okay. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Hey. Revelio. Aha, I knew it. Huh. Hmm. All right, that's a bit of useful information, I think. Ooh, big chest. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Huh, unidentified hand item? What? What the heck is going on here? Huh. Oh, take this to the room requirements to reveal its qualities. Oh my god. Okay, so I guess it's high time I go do that then. Best in okay, well, I've got my broom, so... Let's go talk to Miss... Uh, Professor Weasley. God, just saying that feels weird. Okay, uh... Ba -ba -ba -ba. How do I... How do I set my broom? Oh. Uh... Okay, that's not it. Uh, how the... Like, seriously, how do I set my brooms? Like, is there, like, a special button or something? Potato. Nope, nope, that's not it. Oh. Okay, so... Uh... Hmm. Oh. Oh! -ho! I can fly! Alright, this is awesome. But I'd rather just... I'd rather have a mount, though. Like... It's a lot cooler to look at. You know, flying around on like a hippogriff or a tristrum. Well, are there any other type of flying creatures in this game yet? Like maybe a griffin or something? Okay, so... Yeah, let's go do the whole, the whole requirement thing. Uh, okay, um... Let's fix first, gotta open it up. And we'll do that quest later. So, let's see. Here we go. Room requirements. Here we go. And let's see. Located on the map. Okay, and... Uh, hmm. Okay, okay, so it's here, but I haven't locked that one yet, so let's go here and travel. Huh, good thing I can travel while I'm flying, otherwise, you know, I have to land and I don't feel like doing that. Okay, let's see what we can get. I'm glad I can finally get the room requirement. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's up this way. So I guess I follow this stairway, I think. Okay. Oop, there is something here. Aha! Um, 
Oh, no, it's not Accio, it's uh, Leviosa. Leviosa. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> you... Uh, what's that? Oh, looks like there's an item there, but I can't get to just yet. Oh, well. Uh, oop. Hmm. Ah, ah, here it is. Oop, first things first. Are you... Oh, you're not a chest. Okay, begin quest. Professor Weasley? Mm. Uh... Somewhere away from prying eyes. Use Revelio, dude. Should help. Oh, that's that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. A hidden room. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me, and I. Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Ladies first. Oh, what is this place? This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Okay. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. Prepare her, maybe? This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay. Oh, well, I didn't get it all right, but oh well. All right. Splendid. Now. I know. Let's go on those chairs. Okay. Excellent work. Okay. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Good. Well, Let's I have I have plenty of them from from all my you know exploring. Ooh. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Okay. I waited for you for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches so, of parchment. You can just let me know if you want to meet my sincerity. I wondered where that had got to. Huh. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Re yes, Professor. Okay. Let's keep looking around. Oh. Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Okay, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Oh, ooh, more moonstone. Aha! What is this? Uh, nope. Okay, I guess I'll have to uh, get the Accio spell ready. Let's see, where is it? Ah. Accio! Now, let's take a look through here. Uh, oh. Am I supposed to...
Okay, did that. Okay, and... Nope, that didn't do anything. Although, can I... Okay, maybe if I just do a little bit more... Okay, that didn't do anything, uh, I guess. Huh. I wonder if there's a way to get up there somehow. Like... So I really do doubt I've done this correct. Nope. Can't get, can't get up there. Maybe I can get up there another way. Well, oh. Oh, come on, really? Uh... Oh, come on, come on. Oh well, I guess I can always come back here later and try and fix that. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Well, only way to find out, dude. An intruder! Stop them! Oh, uh. No, not. Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! Charming! I was a student here, dude. Ugh. <sighs> More moonstone and ooh. oh, bits bit offered the room though. I needed a bath, chee thing. Uh, okay. There's a random working toilet. Hmm. Still wish I could find a way to you know use Akio like this. If I do it this side, maybe. Akio. Uh. Uh, come on, come on. Oop, I'm making it tilt. Uh, hmm. Okay. Oh, I think this will work. In th oh, yeah, it did. I was right. Oh. Got something that wasn't particularly useful. Oh, well. Uh, well, this well, that was a waste of time. Well, let's see what else there is around here. Uh, oh, it's another one of those animated plant things. What's this? Uh, hmm. Whoop. Huh, must have been Chinese New Year at some point. Although it's kind of creepy. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? I think that's the point. Uh, which way now? Oh. Hmm. What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Uh, Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Akio. Uh huh. Summon my wits. Uh hmm. I assume that's got something to do with. Oh. Ah. Oh the. Incendio. That didn't do anything. Nope, that didn't do anything. Uh. Hmm. Huh. What was it if I, uh. Bring Akio in. And... Nope. Nothing. Incendio. Oh, sorry. Okay, and... Nope. Well, I guess that was pointless. Well, I guess I could always figure it out later. Uh, huh. Oh, golden dragon eyed spectacles. Very nice. Very nice. Hmm. 
I hope that house elf can find us in here. Are you waiting to find out? Oh, that's probably yes. Hmm. Well, I'm being forced to walk, so this must be important. Ah, there he is. Are you Deke? Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hey, it's, a, it's one of those catching bags. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Okay. Here we go. Ah, nice and neat. So much better. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Yeah. And it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. What's this do? It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. Oh, good. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Okay. You've unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal magical properties of unidentif unidentified gears that you've collected. Okay. Let's let's do this. Oh. Well, the dueling gloves got improved, but the tainted cloak wasn't very good. Alright, let's take a look at it. Let me take a look at them. Like... Let's see, so... Let's get the gloves. Ooh. Ah. Well, there we go. And let's take a look at the robes. Uh, this one... Eh, not very good. Uh, what about the outfit? That's worse as well. Hmm. Oh, well. Like, although... Ah, this is it. Ooh, control. Increase damage with, with ancient throwing magic. Okay, uh, let's try and find the others. Um, where was it? It was in here. No. In here? No. Nuh-uh. Uh, I guess uh, I only had one of them, I guess. Oh, well. Have to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Okay. Uh, why is that sh showing like that? Uh, well, guys, since we found the whole of this whole, I guess we'll end the video here. If you like us all, like, comment, and subscribe. Jeff, and I'm out of here. See ya.